since the passage to greater glory of Elder Dr. Onofiok Andrew Ufot on the 29th of April 2015, one of his sons, Udeme Ufot, who perhaps shot the family name into national and international prominence through his exceptional creativity in advertising, had kept all his friends, colleagues, associates, admirers, and indeed mentors across the length and breadth of Nigeria and the world, abreast with minute-by-minute -minute information about plans to give his father a grand burial, befitting of somebody who is highly respected by all. Elder Dr. Onofiok Andrew Ufot M.N.I. has been described as a man among men, a born teacher trained as a professional in developing young minds, and molding their character. The late elder Dr. O.A. Ufot, more commonly referred to as O.A.U. by his friends, will be remembered for his unqualified commitment and dedication to the development of manpower for the Nigerian economy. Elder Dr. O.A. Ufot, O.A.U., who traversed all levels of education, is an educator and educationist for excellence. He rose to the pinnacle of educational administration to become the Deputy Registrar of the West African Examinations Council, WAIC, and later the Pioneer Registrar of the University of Calabar in Cross River State. The late Elder Ufot had an incredible grasp of the English language as an excellent communicator. He was a regular contributor to the Chronicle newspapers in the 70s and 80s under the pen name Singna Tofu. Elder Dr. Onofiok Andrew Ufot MNI also engaged in pastoral work. He was reputed to have founded the Kwaibo Church in Surulere, Lagos. He will also be remembered as a preacher of the word. Listeners on Cross River Radio in those days will remember him. He was also a chorister with a rich baritone voice. Elder Dr. Onofiok Andrew Ufot MNI was an only child who began life alone. Today, he has children who has written the name of the family in gold internationally through their exceptional exploits in their different areas of calling. Among them are doctors, lawyers, engineers, university lecturers, IT wizards, and indeed, one of the most outstanding advertising brains in the country today. Without any doubt at all, the sound, impeccable pedigree and towering wits an uncommon intellectual acumen of Elder Dr. Onofiok Andrew Ufot MNI has rubbed off positively on all his children. The case in point here is his fifth child, Udeme Ufot MFR, the Group Managing Director of SONU Global Advertising Agency. The ingenious brain behind the popular Guinness TV commercial, My Friend Udeme, is a great man. Udeme Ufot, who like most of his other siblings, grew up in Lagos, is a graduate of industrial design specializing in graphic designs from Amadubelo University in Zaria, Kaduna State. Until he founded SONU Advertising Company in 1990, the Melfort was a creative director with Inside Communications. Udeme, like his father, is a most destabilized Nigerian who has friends from all parts of the country. Udeme Fort and his wife, Dorothy, senior advocate of Nigeria, who compliments him in every respect, enjoy a lot of goodwill from their friends, and this came strongly to the fore at all the events put together for the grand sent forth of his father, Elder Dr. Onofiok Andrew Ufort MNI. The first point of convergence as a prelude to the final funeral rites for Elder Dr. Onofiok Andrew Ufort was a dinner that took place in the Uyo Aquabum State home of Udeme Ufot. He was ably supported by his wife, Dorothy, senior advocate of Nigeria, and his other siblings. At the dinner, all the key players in the different spheres of life, mostly in the top positions of their businesses, with whom Udeme Ufot and his wife, Dorothy, had had interactions over the years, turned up in very huge numbers from the Lagos, Abuja, Ibadan, Port Harcourt, southeast, the north, and other parts of the country. They all came. The dinner which saw most of the guests casually dressed served as an avenue for most of these high-flying guests to let off steam 
and take a break from the tedium of the very busy schedule of work they run 24 hours daily, weekly. It was indeed very refreshing to see these top players in Nigeria's corporate environment and owners of high net worth business conglomerates having fun, throwing jabs and jokes and banters at one another and generally having a good time. To keep the night going, a popular saxophonist from Lagos was on hand to supply different genres and idioms of music, to which everyone reacted in a pot pre of dancing steps. It was great fun while it lasted, and Udemeo Fort and his wife Dorothy, senior advocate of Nigeria, were the superb hosts, making sure that all that needed to flow did so inexhaustibly until the end of the day. led to the hometown of the elder statesman, the great educationist and pioneer registrar of the University of Calabar, Elder Dr. Onofio Andrew Ufot MNI in a Tinam local government area of Akwaibum State. And that's for the grand burial to prominent sons and daughters of Akwaibum State and other parts of the country. Even people came from all parts of the world. They had all come to pay their final respects to a worthy son of Akwaibum State, Nigeria, Africa, and a world citizen. In Dr. Onofiok Andrew Ufot MNI was educated at the University College London in 1948, the same year he married his wife of 67 years, Mrs. Janie Hansen Iyang, and between them they have seven children, 16 grandchildren, and six great grandchildren. A chorister, composer, and dexterous music personality, and sportsman extraordinaire. Elder Dr. Onofiok Andrew Ufot composed the school anthem of the University of Calabar. He was a chorister in the Kwaibo Church in Suruleri, Lagos, and Calabar. This was between 1963 to 1972. Elder Dr. Onofiok Ufot was also instrumental to the establishment of the University of Calabar Chapel of Redemption. A very versatile man of many parts, the late Elder Dr. Onofiok Andrew Ufot MNI was a sportsman to the core. He was active in lawn tennis at the University College Ibada, and he was the first singles champion in Uyo province. He was also a footballer and a registered referee. He officiated matches at the King George Defeat Stadium, Unico Lagos, in those days. Highlights of the commendation service for Elder Dr. Onofiak Andrew Ufot, which was held in an open field in a Tinam local government of Aquabum State, were spirit-filled songs to bid the elder statesman a befitting farewell. <laughs>
condolence message of the government and people of Akwebom State, which was rendered by the Akwebom State Governor, Mr. Gabriel Odom Imano. He said, with the demise of Elder Dr. Onofiak and Ufot MNI, Akwebom State of Nigeria has lost a man whose rich experience and wise counsel would have continued to serve as the founding of knowledge and inspiration to the younger ones. He thanked God for the exemplary Christian virtues of the late elder statesman. He advised his children and other well-meaning people to continue to tow the path of virtue, selfless service, and undiluted patriotism, which elder statesman Dr. Anelfiuk Andrew Ufot had bequeathed to the world. We really thank God for his life. We saw him all through, even when he was in the university. He was a father of all of us and also a great statesman for the state. We are saying on behalf of the government and the good people of Akwaibom State, I stand here to convey to you people our heartfelt condolences on the death of this our dear father, Elder Nofio Andrew Ford. I thank God for his age, although it is appointed unto all human beings wants to die. The transition of this great man, our great patron of your family, a teacher, a mentor, a community leader, and a distinguished administrator has left us with a deep sense of loss. I'm sure a vacuum is created. We, however, be consoled that the death of a good Christian, as he was, is merely the exchange of mortality for immortality. There were special prayers for the repose of the soul of Elder Dr. Onofiuk and Rufot. This is followed by a masterful display by the MIC poor bearers who carry the remains of Elder Dr. Onofiuk and Rufot shoulder high. Others engaged in hearty dancing and singing. The MIC poor bearers in company of the children of the deceased and their spouses headed for the home of the great educationist where his remains were interred. This was after a brief prayer session, followed by the dust to dust rites by the children. We all dead in your state. The things of the dead is sin, and the power of sin is the law. But thanks be to God, He gave us the victory through our Lord Jesus Christ. Amen. Somebody say amen. 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 At the grand reception that followed, all the friends, admirers, colleagues, associates, mentors, and well-wishers of the children of the deceased and their spouses, especially with their again assembled in great numbers. The last program to wrap up the series of activities for the funeral rites of Elder Onofiuk Andrew Ufot, OAU MNI. The chairman of Troika Holdings, Mr. Bjorn Shobanjo, who was a Demofort's boss at Inside Communications from where he resigned to form his company in 1990, let the top dignitaries that honored the efforts at their father's final burial ceremony that took place in a Tinam local government in Aquabum State. It is music all through. <laughs> Here are reminiscences about the life and times of Elder Dr. Onofiuk Andrew Ufot MNI, who joined the Saints Triumphants at the age of 87 years. He was a distinguished personality, an administrator for excellence, educationist, a man who loved God intensely, a man of great passion and talent, a man of great humility, and we will miss him greatly. Um, my father was a man that was totally passion driven, for, you know, had a passion for excellence and um, in raising me he ensured that I, I strove for nothing but the best and uh, I thank him, I thank God for giving me a father like him and I'm so proud of him and I hope that as he lies in his grave today he'll be as proud of me 
and I was of him. Thank you. I'm happy and I grieve. I grieve because I have missed a terrific father-in-law. My father-in-law was the registrar of my university, a strict disciplinarian. He loved me beyond words. I don't remember when he called me by my name. He's always calling me darling. So I always get confused to know who is my real darling. Is it my husband or my father-in-law? And he allowed me to be myself. He didn't, I didn't feel like changing anything about myself. He loved me beyond words. On my wedding day, to signify his acceptance of me as his daughter-in-law, he physically on his own by himself lifted me up to the amazement of everybody. He supported me. I did no wrong as far as he was concerned. So I'm going to miss him. May God grant his wife, children, and other family members the fortitude to bear the loss. Waiting for your love, we are with you. Got to go, the money, you.